Well, among the American senators urging more military assistance to Ukraine is Republican Rob Portman. He joined me a short time ago from Capitol Hill. Senator Portman, thanks very much uh, for joining me. Why Thank now? You. Why the push for more arms to the Ukrainian government now? Well, frankly, we've been pushing for it for a long time. Uh, I was over uh, for the presidential election. Uh, I saw the fact that Ukraine is looking to the West. Uh, they view the United States as an ally, and frankly, we are letting them down. Uh, they need the ability to defend themselves. I think what's happened since that time, over the last several months, is the, es uh, the situation has escalated. It's become more violent. Uh, there have been more soldiers and civilians killed. The Russians are pushing even harder. Russian troops are in Ukraine, from all the information we have. In addition, they are continuing their strong support for these separatists. And we, at a minimum, uh, and I, when I say we, I don't just mean the United States of America, the NATO countries and other allies around the world ought to be providing the Ukrainians the ability to defend themselves. Right, but the idea of giving more weapons to the Ukrainian government, as you know, puts you at odds with some of your European allies. And not just at France and Germany, you've had the NATO commander, Philip Breedlove, saying that this could trigger a more strident reaction from Moscow. I think he could have said that uh, with some credibility months ago. I think it's very hard to say that now because we have held off. In fact, we haven't even provided the Ukrainians the non-lethal aid they've been looking for and they were promised, including ambulances, uh, Humvees, other equipment that's non-lethal. Uh, and now we're talking about the fact that the, 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 the Russians are not you know, respecting the fact that America pulled, pulled back or that America didn't even keep its promises. In fact, the Russians are more aggressive than ever. So I think it is the cost for the Russians. Uh, we should have been uh, more uh, responsive when uh, Crimea was taken in our view uh, and now we see what's going on in eastern Ukraine and I, I think it's time for for all parties to stand up who believe uh, in the rule of law who, who believe that this kind of naked aggression in this century is inappropriate I was pleased to see the comments from uh, Secretary Kerry because he does seem to get it and understand that this is a situation that is unfortunately escalating, uh, not getting better. So, Senator, what would you say then to, for example, the German foreign minister who says it's a bad idea to give the Ukrainians more weapons? Well, I would say that the German chancellor has been very clear in her comments that this is unacceptable, that it must be stopped. And I would say that in the months since she said that, things have not gotten better, they've gotten worse. And I understand that many Europeans are concerned, particularly given the energy situation, but they also know that what they have tried has not worked. Uh, the efforts at diplomacy are important. The efforts at economic sanctions are important. But they have not worked, Caddy. You cannot say that uh, what we have done has been successful in pulling back uh, either the Russian support for the insurgents or the direct Russian activity in the country. And I, I think this is a time for all of us to stand, stand up together. And if we do so, I think we can avoid further violence and keep this from escalating. Uh, that's your message to the Europeans. What's your message to Americans who say, you know what, we don't think this is our fight to fight? Well, we're not talking about fighting it ourselves. We're talking about allowing the people of Ukraine, who are freedom-loving people, who, as you know, have decided to turn to the West, uh, to the Europeans, to us. They believe in freedom. They believe in democracy. Uh, they want to follow not the Russian model, but the European and the American and the, and the, and the free market and free enterprise and freedom model. Uh, we ought to stand with them at a minimum, provide them what they need to be able to defend themselves. Okay, Senator Rob Portman of Ohio, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks, Senator. Caddy. Thanks for having me on.